what's happening. It's Drew here from Top City Gear. And uh, this, I believe, is part four of the uh, PVC gun project I've got going. And I made a, a few upgrades, three significant upgrades to it this time. I just kind of wanted to uh, explain a little bit if you're following the project. Um, if you don't care about the upgrades and you just want to see the shooting, then you might have to skip ahead a few minutes. But uh, basically, uh, there's three changes on this. Uh, one, I've added a periscope to the uh, barrel here, which is this, you can see the big crazy neck here. And then also the barrel itself, I have uh, reinforced and added an extra foot to. So now, it's actually a six foot barrel, which I had been using a, a uh, five footer. And then also, I've made a uh, change to the ammo. Alright, so the ammo I'm using this time is actually uh, some pretty serious stuff. I've got uh, two different bullets I'm trying out. Uh, 54 caliber lead ball, which I believe is around 225 grains. And then also some uh, 300 grain uh, Hornady FTX bullets uh, that I think... The, oh, these are 50 caliber, yes. Um, and uh, the way I'm propelling them is by uh, using these uh, shotgun wads and for the 54 caliber ball it's pretty simple you just drop it in and then stick it inside the barrel and these are actually uh, wads made for a uh, 20 gauge shotgun and they fit perfect inside of half inch PVC pipe uh, just a little bit uh, tight um, so it actually works pretty good and with it being tight, the, uh, the ball won't roll out of the barrel when you're moving it around. And then when I use the uh, Hornady bullets, since it's a 50 caliber, not a 54, it's just a little bit too small to stay in there. So inside the cup. So I wrap it with a little bit of paper towel and then stick it in there. And that gives it just enough extra thickness to stick tight inside the barrel. Now, speaking of the barrel, uh, one of the problems you might have seen in my uh, previous videos when I started getting uh, to the higher powers and the higher pressures, uh, I had a lot of trouble with the, uh, the half inch PVC barrel just flexing and kind of kicking around. So I wasn't sure you know, how well or how much that was affecting the velocity uh, or the accuracy especially. So. What I decided to do, I still have a half inch PVC barrel, but I've got it sleeved with a one inch PVC barrel. And every foot uh, of the half inch inside barrel, I uh, wrapped it up with one inch wide uh, Gorilla Tape and added uh, a little bit of thickness to fill in the gap between the two barrels. And you can see the black tape there uh, I've got at the very end that supports the, the inner barrel uh, from the outer barrel. And like I said, I've got that tape wrapped around there each foot down the barrel uh, so it's solid and supported throughout the whole length. And it really makes it a lot, a lot stiffer. It still does flex, especially when you uh, extend it all the way out. Um, but it, uh, it's not as bad as it was and with a support like I'm going to use uh, it, it should be fine and then also uh, one problem I had with accuracy was due to the large reservoir I've got for the air um, I couldn't really when I tried to shoulder it I couldn't really see what I was aiming at because the, the diameter of the tank is makes your face so far away uh, from the barrel. So I was just trying to guess basically. So what I decided to come up with, what I decided to make to help that is uh, basically a, a periscope. And I just took some basic PVC uh, elbows, one inch pipe, and I glued uh, two small pieces of mirror that I cut out into each of the uh, corners of the elbow. You can probably see 
a view there possibly and basically what that allows me to do is see and it's it's offset to the side so I can shoulder it and have my face away from the the gun and you can I've just got it taped there right now because I didn't have a better way to, to mount it but uh, the back end is a little bit loose let's see if you can see that so all you got to do is when you're looking in there you can move this side to side and that will allow you to see uh, you know where the front of it is lined up with the barrel it's just like you got an eyeball right on the top of the barrel and then that's how I am going to uh, to aim it basically so hopefully this works out pretty good um, and I've got a few targets here to try out you know just to see uh, how much uh, power power I'm making with this now so we're gonna be running about uh, 100 PSI 110 PSI so it should be a pretty interesting so let's check her out okay so just to show you guys uh, one of the targets I'm gonna be shooting at basically a, an old door that uh, is a solid solid core door I think it's pretty much pine on the inside but it is pretty stout and it's very heavy uh, it's the same door that uh, we had in our uh, breacher barrel video as well all right here's 50 caliber lead ball 54 caliber lead ball about 10 yards about 100 psi Go check it out. Well, I had a little bit of a camera mishap on one of my shots, but I actually did two shots here, both 54 caliber, both lead balls. You can see one buried itself uh, pretty much flush in the door, and then this one here got about halfway in and then bounced out. Now that since it hit clear down the end, that end might be a little bit harder than more towards the middle there. But, uh, you know, actually that's, that's quite a bit of power. I mean, even though it didn't go through, I mean, it's a huge lead ball. So, uh, you know, if it hit a soft target, it'd probably do some pretty good damage. All right, now I'm going to try one of the uh, 50 caliber Hornady FTX bullets. Same 10 yards, same... 100 PSI. I don't know if this is going to do anything. I suspect it might tumble in midair, but we'll see here. Damn. Right on the X. Let's go check that out. All right, well, let's get a close up here. Uh, I kind of made a little bit of adjustments to the periscope, which I think might have helped the accuracy a little bit. But as you can see, I thought it was going to kind of tumble and hit it sideways, but it, this uh, shiny surface there is the, uh, the butt end of the bullet, so it must have went in fairly straight uh, for the most part, so that's pretty interesting. Alright, now we're going to try the uh, see what the old TV can do. We got a uh, one of the Hornady FTX bullets and running about a hundred and ten PSI I'm just trying to adjust the scope here okay alrighty here we go what? <laughs> I don't think it penetrated Well, here's the impact. It did hit the glass. Of course, it did not crack it. You can see a circle there. Uh, so, I'm just kind of wondering though, because you can see little specks of red. I don't know if my camera can focus that good, but there's little specks of red plastic there, which would suggest the tip did hit it, but uh, that circular pattern's kind of strange, so the bullet bounced off somewhere, so we don't know where it went, but interesting. I, I thought for sure that was going to go through there. Let's 
see. All right, we're going to try the TV again. Uh, this time, instead of the uh, FGX bullet, we'll just go ahead and use the lead ball. Well, let's go see here. Hey, there you go. That's crazy. Let's take a close up look at that. Man, look at that lead. That's lead right there. Just <laughs> holy crap, look at that. <laughs> it turned it into about a quarter. And so it didn't go all the way through. It, did, it didn't go all the way through, yeah. Well I made a hole, but the uh probably, that's probably most of it there. I could go ahead and weigh it and see. That is very cool. How much of that is actually the whole lead ball, but it feels pretty close. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. All right, now we're gonna use a uh, one of the lead balls on the uh, jug there on top of the TV, which is filled with water. It's pretty much a regular antifreeze jug. See how good of a shot I am here. It's a bleeder. It's bleeding. I heard it hit trees. You went clear to the woods. Really? Yep. I don't know if you guys could hear that on camera, but uh, we heard the ball bouncing around on the trees in the background there, so that baby must have just kept going. Here's a look at the water jug. Got a nice solid hole on that side and nice exit wound there. All right, now we're gonna try to hit this filled to the brim two liter. And we're gonna use one of the FTX bullets this time, hoping to maybe get some expansion with the water. I, know, I don't guarantee a hit on this one though. That's a pretty small target, we'll see. Nice. Oh, way to go, Drew. Nice. You barely got that sucker. Yeah. I was hoping I possibly find some find the bullet still stuck in there, but no go. Still that's pretty good though. 